back to my channel, The Baking Diva. I want to first of all say thank you, thank you, thank you to all my new subscribers. It must have been my Fruity Pebbles breakfast bread that attracted you because I got so many new subscribers and I'm so excited. It means the world to me, so thank you very, very much. Well, today's video I'm going to dedicate to one of my good subscribers, and her name is Maureen R. Hi, Maureen. A while ago, I was doing a six-part series on baked donuts, and I got four parts done, and then life got in the way, the holidays came, we had a couple of collaborations, and I didn't get to part five. Well, it's good to know that somebody out there was taking an interest because Maureen sent me a message and she said, Dolores, I'm having an anxiety attack here. She goes, I've been looking and looking and where's part five? And I said, wait a minute, did I not do part five? So I went back and checked and Maureen, you were absolutely right. Kind of got lost in YouTube land. So I'm doing it especially for you today. I think Maureen bought a donut pan and she was waiting and waiting. I think she made some of my other recipes. So we're gonna get started today on making my baked chocolate peanut butter cake donuts. They're so easy to make, you're gonna love them. But before we get started, you're gonna to need to preheat your oven to 350 degrees, and then you can't make donuts without a donut pan. So I have this six well donut pan. I don't know if you can see, but I sprayed it generously with non-stick spray. Even though it's a non-stick pan, I would suggest you spray it anyway. Oh, there goes my grandfather clock. From those, for those of you that watch me all the time, you should be used to it by now. So I'm gonna put this aside. And now we're gonna get started on the recipe. Cameraman, are you awake? <laughs> oh yeah, thank you. All right, the first thing you're gonna need is a bowl. And this recipe is going to start out with a boxed cake mix. I happen to be using here a Duncan Hines chocolate fudge um, cake mix, but you can use a plain chocolate one if you want. First thing we're gonna do is we're going to, whoopsie, we're gonna put our cake mix into a bowl. You don't need an electric beater for this. Okay. Now into our bowl, I'm going to add one cup of water. So let me put that in. A quarter of a cup of vegetable oil. One egg. And I'm going to put in there, let me see if we can get a shot of this on the camera. You need a powdered peanut butter. Can you see that cameraman? I'm using PB2. They might have other brands of it, I'm sure. So we're gonna add some of this powdered peanut butter to our mix. We're going to put in two tablespoons. Two. And if you don't know what PB2 is, PB2 is basically 90% less fat than your regular peanut butter. Put that in here and I'm gonna take my handy dandy whisk and I'm gonna mix all of this together. Can you see this cameraman? Yes ma'am. All right, so I'm gonna keep mixing this and once I get this all combined, I'll be right back to show you what we do next. Okay, I mixed all the batter. We use the whisk and it's nice and smooth. So what do we need next? Well, we need our sprayed 
donut pan. I should have told you, um, if you need a donut pan, I'll put a link for it down below in my little Amazon uh, favorites. Um, that's where I got it from, and they're very inexpensive. So let me put that over here for now. Now, you need to fill your donut pan. And instead of taking a spoon and trying to get it all around in there, there's much easier ways to do it. You can take a one-gallon Ziploc bag if you want and cut the corner off and squeeze it in. But I like to use my piping bag, but don't go out and buy a piping bag if you don't have one. I take a glass and I stick my piping bag in the glass and I fold it over like that. I just find it much, much easier to fill that way. If you have a taller glass, it'll work better. And now I'm gonna just take my spoon and whoopsie, and I'm gonna start filling putting the batter into my piping bag. Piping bag has a nice size opening on the bottom. You might see a little drip out into the glass, but that's okay. So we're gonna put some in here. You'll see how easy it is to fill the donut pan when you do it this way. Okay, so let me bring my donut pan over. I'm gonna lift the sides of the piping bag and I'm gonna squeeze down. You need to squeeze down and twist because you don't want all your batter flying out of the top of the piping bag. All right, I can already see it coming out. All right. Now you take your donut pan and you just go like this around. You fill it about maybe halfway filled. Let me hold that up so I can show you how it looks. Wasn't that easy? I probably put a little bit extra in, but that's fine. So I'm going to continue doing the rest of these. Look how easy that is. Comes right out of your piping bag. Hold that up and show you again. You see that? So fill them about halfway um, filled. And then what I'm going to do is after I get them filled up, and you're gonna get more than the six donuts. I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna put them on a cooling rack. And then once they're all cool, I'm gonna come back and show you how we ice these little babies. So don't go away, I'll be right back. Alrighty, so I took the donuts out of the oven. This is pretty much what they look like. Um, if you only fill your donut well halfway you should get about a dozen donuts i got a few less because i filled mine with more batter but go with about halfway and what i should tell you is if your donut pan is a lighter colored pan you can bake them at 350 for about 10 to 12 minutes if your donut pan is dark you can lower the temperature to about 325 and then you can maybe bake them for um say 11 to 13 minutes but you'll know because if you push your finger on the donut and it sort of bounces back a little bit you'll you'll know you're done and also i use the chocolate fudge mix because it happens to be what i had but actually you should just use a plain chocolate cake mix only because i think the chocolate fudge um, is more fudgy and it takes away a little bit from the peanut butter flavor. So I have these on a cooling rack. I'm going to put them aside. They're nice and cool now. And I'm going to make my icing. So here in this, you can use a little bowl. I happen to put it in here. I have three cups of confectioner's sugar. I also put in there, or I'm putting in there, a half a cup of unsweetened cocoa powder and uh, what I'm going to do now is um, whisk these two things together half and half to this and I'll put in my vanilla and with a spoon I'm going to just keep mixing all of this up till it gets nice and creamy and then I'll be back to show you how we decorate these yummy babies. So don't go away. All 
Alrighty, so I mixed up the um, frosting. I, um, I wanted it to be like this. Let me just show you. Like a smooth, fudgy look to it. Um, so I had to add more half and half. So you know how to do that. Just keep playing with it and stirring it till it's nice and smooth. The lumps are out of it and you get it to the consistency you want. Dip <laughs> half my donut into this and I'm gonna put it on my cooling rack that I have some parchment paper under so I don't have a big mess. And then once I'm done with that, we're gonna put the finishing touch on these after that glaze sets. I like to do the actual bottom of the donut rather than the top. So I'm gonna dip it in there. Just gonna do half of your donut. Let the excess drip down. Whoa! <laughs> Should I cut this out or leave it in? I think I'll leave it in. I just knew that was gonna happen. Fell right out of my hand, but it's okay. <laughs> it looks good. Well, let's go. Let's see if I can make another fool of myself. Dip it halfway in. The donuts are heavy. And cover it. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna continue dipping these off camera until I get all of them glazed. I actually got Three, four, five, six. nine of them, but don't make them as big as I did. And uh, as soon as this glaze sets, I'll be right back and we'll put the finishing touch on them. So stay tuned. Okay, I'm back. Well, I should say at this point in the video, <laughs> If you still want to subscribe to my channel after my donut fiasco falling into the icing, go down below and hit that red subscribe and then the little bell next to it. Um, you just press that and say all and then whenever I have a new video up, you'll get a notification. If you don't hit the bell, YouTube's never going to let you know and it really does help my channel to grow and don't you want to see more of these crazy videos <laughs> so anyway what i will suggest is don't use the cake mix i used i had it and i used it it was the duncan hines uh fudgy moist cake mix just use a plain chocolate cake mix my other mistake was hey the deep is not perfect i figured the more batter you put in the bigger the donut. Who doesn't like a big donut? But when you went to dip it into the glaze, they're cake-like donuts. And, you know, they're top heavy. So that's why I did pull them apart in there. So stick with the recipe and just fill it halfway. You don't need these ginormous donuts. All right, our last step is I took about a half a cup of real peanut butter and I melted it in my microwave. Uh, for about 20 seconds. I did it 10 seconds and I took it out and I kept stirring it and I did it for another 10 seconds. You want it to get liquidy. Um, what you can do is you can just take whatever you um, melted it in and just start drizzling it over your donuts. I just happen to have, I like to use these little, um, what do you call them, cameraman? <laughs> these little uh, squirt bottles, right? Squirt bottles and I put it in there. So all you're gonna do is you're going to just drizzle your peanut butter over the icing. No special rhyme or reason, just this way and then that way. And um, then it'll be all done and ready to eat. Cameraman, <laughs> he's shaking his head. Cameraman, are you gonna eat one? Later. Oh, later, okay. All right, so let me get some of this peanut butter down in there. Come on, peanut butter, there you go. And let me show you how we do this. So you just take it, keep it on your parchment paper, and you're just gonna go like this, perfect. Hey, looks so cool. And then go that way. They really look nice. No special way, just get your nice peanut butter on the top, go that way. And then you can go back that way again. Let me hold it up so you can see. You see that? 
And that's how we're gonna do all of our donuts. So, I hope you enjoyed this crazy video. Maureen R, I hope you'll give these donuts a try. And uh, I'm not gonna eat one now because they are still setting, the icing. But I hope you'll make them. And guess what? I am gonna do part six, because what I start, I always want to finish. Right, cameraman? Right. <laughs> so anyway, I hope to see you all very soon. Have a wonderful week. And uh, as always, I'll say, love you. Toodles!